Good morning, wonderful people. Tell you what, you guys are great. Okay, so I've been getting so much uh, great responses from you guys about my uh, videos and stuff lately. It just makes me feel so great about doing this and uh, wants me to carry on doing it and like push on forwards and stuff like that. Every now and then I get a bit, a little bit lethargic with the channel, so I can't be bothered to edit a video or something like that. But you guys really, really push me. Well, not push me, but inspire me to make more videos and keep on doing it. So. Yeah, you guys are really, really great. Okay, so I got up, but well, I didn't get up late. I got up at the time I was supposed to, but I had to sort out um, the video, which I edited, edited last night, um, not really late. So I had to get that up, because um, I didn't manage to get one up yesterday, um, unfortunately. But uh, no, it's, uh, but, yeah, so I'm gonna have to get a, um, I was just going to walk down to the embassy that I need to go to, but I'm just going to have to get a uh, like tuk-tuk or a motorbike taxi to save time. So hopefully I can find one quite quick. Once we get on the main street, go to find one quite easily. They're absolutely everywhere. Oh, I also meant to talk about my um, hostel, which I haven't spoke about yet. Which I normally give a little, little bit of a rating. Um, yeah, it's a uh, hostel's actually really, really nice. Um, slightly above average uh, in terms of uh, how much it costs to stay there um, but it has like a washing machine and drying which I can use and also has free breakfast and a free towel um, to use which is really really good and you don't realise like one of the travelling things is uh, travelling items is you can get these lightweight towels um, and they're basically just slightly thin little towels which um, oh, you can fold down really small um, don't realise how much you appreciate a proper towel until you like use them for a while and you go back to a, uh, a normal towel so yeah it's uh, really nice to use a nice like thick towel ok so it turns out everyone here wants to rip you off all the taxi drivers and tip tip drivers and every other country has been fine but here, like, the taxis refuse to take you on the meter, they just give you a price. It took, took to like 300 baht to get to the embassy, which is just over four kilometers away. And we come from the airport the other day by taxi, by taxi, not by tuk tuk, and it cost us 300 baht. Or well, no, probably, I think it was less than 300 baht. So it's absolutely ridiculous that they won't, they won't take you, they don't want your business. It's, it's stupid, they don't want to go down there. It's not even that far away, but I refuse to go on the meter, so it's just absolutely ridiculous. I managed to get my visa application sorted. Um, it took me three hours, just under three hours, to uh, get it all sorted. But yeah, so glad. I was, uh, I was a bit worried because it closed at 12, I got there at 11. And I literally just got inside the building and it's like halfway queued to the counter um, by 12. And I was like, I hope they don't kick this out now. But then you have to get like a number. But all they do is um, close the door. They don't let anyone else back in the building. So they let you, if you're in the building, they let you stay in until you're sorted. But yeah, then you have to collect a number and then go and wait for your number to be called. So it took three hours in total. Um, so yeah, it, was, uh, it wasn't too bad. But uh, it saves me pain an extra fee for an agency to do it. You know, there's a couple of agencies in there with like big stacks of passports so like, I hope I'm not behind them because they're going to take for ages um, but a lot of them got kicked back because they didn't have the, um, it all sorted correctly uh, so which is good. Uh, yeah, got to speak to a German guy in there um, just chatted to him for a while and then uh, yeah managed to sort it. Uh, because I was in such a rush this morning because I uh, had stuff to do. I forgot to bring my photos and my photocopy of my passport, so I had to pay um, to have it done, uh, which wasn't too much. It was like just over three dollars, I think, three four dollars. So it's a fee that I could have uh, avoided, but I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, and to get down here, I ended up getting a motorbike taxi. Um, managed to sort of like haggle the price down to which I was 
actually acceptable to pay to come the distance. It actually was. And uh, yeah, that really annoyed me this morning, the taxi drivers and the taxi drivers, like how much they just want to rip you off. So they obviously don't want to bring you down here because it's like out of their area. They want to do like short trips a couple of roads down. Um, so yeah, it really annoyed me that they just want to charge so much to try and move you off. And the taxi drivers won't go by uh, the meter. It's just so annoying. So I ended up paying 120 baht for the motorbike to bring me down here. I'm going to um, walk back to the hostel and I'm going to pay to get back to the hostel. Um, I'm going to grab some food on the way and uh, tonight I'm going up the tower. Um, I've got it arranged with a couple of friends um, that I met. Where did I meet them? In China. Um, yeah, and then after China they went to uh, Tokyo. Uh, not well, Tokyo. They went to Japan. Uh, and now they landed here the day after me, so I'm going to meet up with them tonight, go up the tower, which should be good. Um, I've told I wouldn't about the dress code though, so they don't get uh, disallowed to get in, so yeah, they know about the dress code and meet them later tonight, but it's afternoon, I'm probably just going to um, yeah, just walk back to the hostel and uh, sort some videos out it's like it's quite a long walk so it'll be quite a while um, and I've got to come basically all the way back to exactly where I am now to meet them for the uh, to go on the tower so should have thought about it properly and like just brought the clothes out with me got changed um, while I was out and about but like I said I was in a bit of a rush this morning um, one, one more thing while I'm on a roll of rambling and a load of crap um, I'm leaving Bangkok tomorrow. I was going to stay here. I was just going to get a three-day um, visa, like a three-day application. But I ended up just paying for the two-day. Um, but I paying a little bit more because after this morning, I was like, I'm done with Bangkok. So get out of here, head up north, chill for a bit. It's supposed to be some great views and some great places up north. So yeah, it should be good. Also, I've got a plan. Um, where I'm going and how I'm getting there. Because uh, I haven't actually planned any of that yet, so I've got to get that sorted. And then, uh, yeah, so it's an afternoon of planning, really. for long like over like an hour just done some a uh, little bit of research on how to get uh, up north um, still not sure whether to go by train or um, bus yet the bus is quicker somehow I don't know how um, and more expensive and the train the train's cheaper um, so yeah, I'll decide later on um, so yeah, uh, now going down to the tower, um, well, heading that sort of way anyway. Uh, the people that I'm meeting up with, um, Nikki and Andrew, they um, gave me a tip that there's a boat, a boat taxi that runs down the river, and it'd be a lot cheaper than like, a taxi or um, a tuk-tuk or anything like that, so it's gonna be perfect. Well, hopefully it'll be cheaper anyway. Um, also it runs up the river, so I do take the bus and I can catch that up the river and then just walk inland a little bit and then um, that'll be perfect. So yeah, now heading down, try and find the boat somewhere, now it'll be on the river, but not quite sure where the um, like terminal area is, it has lots of different stops, so yeah, see if we can find it.
Okay, that is definitely the best way to get to Bangkok. It cost me 15 baht, which is like next to nothing. Um, and uh, yeah, it took me it took 35 minutes. So yeah, it was the best way. And they do a um, a day pass, which I think is 150, and you can use the boat as many times as you want on that pass. So yeah, it's definitely the best way to get about in Bangkok. Especially like considering the taxis and tuk-tuks and stuff like that are asking 300 to come the same distance when you can pay 15. It's a no-brainer really. And also, the views are hella a lot better on the river and they are dicing through the town through traffic. Hell of a lot better, especially like this time of night, like just the sun, just as the sun setting. It's uh get amazing views. Yeah, so definitely the one. So I made it to the tower, uh, now just waiting for Nick and Andrew. Uh, and then I'm we'll gonna go up, have a probably really over price drink, and then um, yeah, get some great views. So I'm sure it'll be worth it anyway. Okay, so we've been up tonight to see the best views in Bangkok. Been out for a few drinks. Now, what's your name, see my the friend? Ping pong show. Nido. Nikki, Andrew, Nido. and I. Where are we yeah. going? Gonna catch and we're going, we're going to a ping pong, ping pong show. Ping show. I want to see a rainbow ping pong. pong. And our friend Make here. that what you will. Yeah. <laughs> the best boy in Thailand is going to take us to a ping pong show. <laughs> best ping pong show in Thailand, yes? 100%, you agree? And he's got fucking NWA on. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's a good night, it's a very it's a good, good night. night. Good night, Bangkok. We're having a good time. <laughs> okay, so that was strange. Very, very strange. Um, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a ping pong show as opposed to people full of pulling stuff out of their vagina show. Um, so yeah, it was an experience, it was an experience, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's been a good night, like, seeing Bangkok from the top of the tower and, uh, and spending time with, uh, Andrew and Nikki, it's been such a good night, um, like, and they, they tried to pay, because, the place where the ping pong show is um, is pretty much back where the tower is. Um, so you know it's about four or five kilometres away from my hostel. Um, Nicky and Andrew tried to pay for a taxi back from it. I was like, no, no, you're not going to pay for me to get back. So yeah, it's 
taking a slow stroll back, well, a stroll back, and uh, yeah, no, but it's been, I haven't really done much today, um, like when I was sat in the, uh, the embassy all day, and then uh, <coughs> went back to the hostel, and then went back to meet. Um, Nicky and Andrew. It's been the evening's been better than the day. Like, I've done nothing all day, really. So, but uh, I'm going to um, if I can book uh, a bus tomorrow, then I'm going to leave Bangkok tomorrow. If not, it'll be the day after, hopefully. So, hopefully, it'll be a bus, a bus tomorrow. But I'm pretty ready to leave Bangkok. Uh, no, Nick and Andrew, like, it's so nice trying to pay for my taxi back. I was like, no, no, I'm not going to accept that. Uh, it's not too far. Um, so, yeah, and they're, they're in uh, Thailand for a little bit longer. Well, two months, they're going to be in Thailand in total. So, it'd be really nice to meet up with them again. Um, yeah, it's just, well, they seem to be great people, like, while I'm travelling, it's, not only when travelling in general, where you meet great people, but, the, all, pretty much all of the people that I've met have been amazing, so, yeah, it'd be, I'll stay in contact with them, even if I don't meet them, um, again, so, yeah, it's, uh, gonna be good, so, all I'm gonna do now, walk back to the hostel, so, Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you next time.